Hey guys, uh, I guess welcome to the channel. I'm gonna get this thing going. Um, you may know, you may have seen to the subscribers that are already on my channel. It was probably because of this little thing, the little mini Lewis ski boat. It went viral a couple of years ago with my kids driving it. Um, I decided we, uh, we're gonna build a, build a car, a little car replica of uh, my kid's pop, his little, his uh, Ford Falcon Ute that he drives. So uh, I'm gonna start this channel up. I'm gonna do a bit of talking about it now and then we'll get into episode one. Um, doing the exhaust and whatnot, but let's go over um, a few little things with the boat. That's gonna be a couple of new videos with that soon too. Um, kids are a little bit older now. And my young bloke drives it around flat out when I've got him. Um, he puts tanks and tanks of fuel through it in the summer. So the only thing is, it's only 35 cc's and um, she's getting a little bit slow. So there's going to be a build video on that. We're going to upgrade the motor. But um, we'll get into that after we finish the car. So I thought I'd just do a little intro to the channel. So hopefully you can also subscribe and share it it's also on instagram as mrt built you know, uh, there'll be updates of things i'm doing there'll be heaps of stuff with welding and fabs and backyard build and stuff so there's heaps of little videos and stuff coming um of what we get up to around here enjoy how long have you been working on it started it after the boat went viral the uh, little boat i built for the kids um, and decided I was going to build the, the, the mini ute, the same as Pop White's. So, um, been working on it now for probably a year. Slowly of the weekend, we just do a little bit to it here and there. Um, and this is where, where we're at with it. So, I'm going to show you. So, it's just going to tow the, uh, the boat trailer? Going to tow the little uh, mini Lewis that we've probably all seen on the internet for the kit that the kids drive. Um, so if you're not Australian, can you talk about what an XR8 is? XR8 is a, an Aussie built um, family car over here, Ford manufactured. Um, this model's the AU Falcon. Um, what they go from 90... 98 to 2002? 2002. The old man's one's an O1 model. Um, this is a youth version. Um, Dad's AU, they come with the, the tub back, or weld back, as a lot of people might call them. Um, it was originally my ute, the one he's got. Um, I, built, I built the alloy tray for his one. Took the tub off, built the alloy tray. Um, yeah, just, we're, gonna, we're gonna make it the same. We're gonna make it the same, but for the kids, same as Pop White's ute. So how many hours is into where it is right now? Um, a lot. Heaps. <laughs> heaps and heaps. I don't know, mate. I just um, think we're out in the back shed. And a um, bit here and there when I get bored. And this is where we're at. So it's all aluminium at the moment? Fully alloy. Um, this body, you can see it's sort of, we're not fully there yet, but I've done the bottom sills here for the door. I've got to um, yeah, shape this in into the cabin. I'm going to leave that like that for now because that I've actually made it so the whole cabin bolt unlock unbolts and comes off. Most of the drive line's done. You come around and show you that it's just run the little Chinese 110 motor. So that's a fully. Yeah, oh, don't worry about all the shaving. You don't worry about that. <laughs> Wait, <Wait'll hurt> <laughs> um, this is a fully auto, so centrifugal clutch, no gearbox in it. So. What I've done... How many gonna, horsepower are they? Oh, this thing, probably about eight. Eight? Okay. Know, hopeless. A little bit more if uh, once we're finished with it. The beauty of it is, when the kids are bored with it, our big ones will bolt straight into it. So we can go from eight horsepower to about 25 horsepower. So it'll be fun for the big kids. So it's fully auto. It'll run so they can start it. Um, it runs back through a little gearbox for one of those little Chinese buggies. So we've got forward, neutral, reverse. We're going to um, 
I built it like that so I can teach them to back the little boat that I built with a trailer. So we're gonna um, teach a kid and I put handbrake on the back and I teach them to back the boat in and, and um, learn life skills at a young age. So um, yeah, forward, neutral, reverse through, the, through that little motor, through the gearbox, all chain drive. Down through the back there. You can see, a little bit dark in there. So th this will be set up with the back disc brake. That'll be set up for a handbrake. Front will have mini disc, mini disc um, front calipers up up under there, so they can. Uh, old rogue dad might teach him how to do brake liners, but um, we'll see how that goes. What's the steering rack? The steering rack is there also out of a Chinese buggy, same as the gearbox. But um, I didn't want to do bell crank because it'd be too heavy for the kids to steer. So with the rack, they, as you can see, it's nice and light. That'll make some clearance. But, you know, I had my four-year-old little young bloke, my shed maniac in it on the weekend, and he could turn it, no worries. So, and the tyres are flat. So make it nice and easy for the kids to drive. Um, my daughter, there was one thing she asked for when I see her. She's, Dad, Dad, where's the ute? Where's the ute? Where are we up to with the car? Darling, it's nearly done. There was one request she had. Dad will want a CD player with Bluetooth. No worries. China, again, not just good for Wu, uh, coronavirus from Wuhan, good for cheap electronics. Very cheap CD player. Bluetooth, touch screen, cost me about 60 bucks, bargain. So, show to that, that's gonna go in there. Same as, little touch screen. CD player, and that, uh, that'll keep her happy. I've got a little set of little speakers there as well, so I'll put, uh, I'll put one of these speakers, I'll mount that up. I think I'll just mount that up in the front there somewhere. You should say too, ask, um, ask about, like when you explain it, then say for future videos what's going to be updated, you know what I mean? What stage are you going to do? So what can we say? What are you going to do? What are we going to do? Like from where it's at now. Ah, uh, well. What's the next? So, thing? what are you fabricating next? The next thing, I, I want to lift the body off. Um, I'll deal with the doors because I, honestly, the doors are going to be the hardest. There's no English wheels around here. We're just hammers and, and bits of metal and folders, and we just belt things into place. But there'll be a lot of bog. But yeah, I'm going to lift the body off because that all comes off in one. Get the drive line sorted, the exhaust sorted. I've got uh, I've got all the exhaust pipe here, just like Dad's one. The um, it's got the dual dual exhaust coming out the back. I'm not sure where I've just put them, but uh, yeah, I've got a couple of stainless bands. It'll be full stainless system, just like Dad's. But so the exhaust comes out on the real one. So that'll be like that. Come out there. Uh, headlights, when the headlights turn on, like the real ones, we've got little LED lights behind, behind here, the XRA glows. Nice. So, it's going to make it as, as much like pop white view as we can. This is off an Aussie lawnmower over here. Runs the same setup. So that'll run. I'll just mount it up here somewhere. We're going to run a, a like a gravity feed tank from the fuel tank at the back up to that. Hopefully, it creates enough um, pulse pressure to run that. If not, we'll go electric fuel pump. And that's about it. And so you're going to do this stage by stage, eh, till, the, yeah. till we can go down the street in it. See so where you can get in it and go sideways in the street. Uncle and how long before we can go down the street? <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Andy can, uh, he can be the maniac that tests it in front of the kids. So Hopefully he head fits out the sunroof. Is it going to be a sunroof? Yeah, oh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to, um, because I did start, I, probably 12, I don't know, 12, 15 months ago I started, the kids are a lot smaller. But now my eldest daughter, head actually comes out the top. But where will so my head come? Your head will be up here with your cube on somewhere. Okay. So what I'm going to do, like I said, get all the drive line, get it running. But then, the, so the doors will come through, the windscreen, whatnot, and there'll be a lid that we can remove. Okay. These seats, 
These seats coming out quite easily. Will I have any rollover protection? You will have no rollover, probably, okay. except the helmet. Okay. Or your hat. You got no hair on that head anyway, no. maybe, sorry. There's nothing under here. Nothing, mate. Gravel rash to the Gravel. front. <laughs> There's nothing on the inside either. <laughs> nothing, mate. It's like hitting a bit of fossilised stone. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's about it. That's where we're at now, so hopefully we can uh, get it going for everyone. <laughs> Little boat was a hit, so hopefully you'll enjoy watching this. Thing get it is good to see it updated, stage by stage. Yeah, we'll get it updated. We've got all the stuff. Instead of it sitting outside. on this bench. <laughs> Things take time. Over it. <laughs> You're over it. Uh, it's going to get the bulge bonnet. Anyone familiar with the, the Falcons over here? The AU didn't come out with the bulge. The later model BAs to BF. Or what did they go to now? The Yutes? B. FGX? F yeah, FGX. Jeez, I am behind. But, they um, they Dave, finished them about four years ago too. Yeah, oh, I am behind. I'm way behind. But um, Dad's always liked the bulge bonnet. The AU obviously didn't come with the bulge, but you can buy the kit and he wants to get a bulge bonnet on his yet. So he asked if we could put the little bulge. So it's going to get the little bulge bonnet as well. It's going to get the little Tickford covers, covers, same as his, over the engine. We've got the, the Ford badges there. They're all going to go on there neatly. They say, um, AU Falcons do incredible things. AU Falcons do very incredible things. This one's going to do even better things, especially with him in it. What are you going to do about windscreen glass? I don't know. There's a few. Uh, actually, Lewis, I was, I, after the little boat became quite popular, um, Steve Parker from Lewis, I've become very good friends with him. And um, he done the windscreen on the Little Lewis, and he's, he's offered to help me out with a windscreen for that, so I'd say, old Steve, you'll, you'll help me with that, hopefully. So it'll be part boat. Part boat. Part boat. So, that's what I'm thinking, some sort of perspex, or I don't know, there's a name for it, he told me on the windscreen, but he can shape them, so he'll do a better job than I can. <laughs> no, I'm looking forward to it, it's gonna be good. We'll get some fabrication things happening. We've got the new, nice new welder over there, so. Should we introduce the dogs? Yeah, the main, yeah. Oakley. What's going on, mate? That's the chef dog. And the little girl? Marley. I still reckon that it needs to be there, like the shape, so it doesn't look like it's something out of a cartoon at the moment. Yeah, mate. You know what I mean? If it was rolled more there, because it's you got the bonnet, and then it comes up five metres. You won't fit. No, but you can make you fit still, can you or not? I like that it looks cartoonish. Yeah, yeah. it's got to look cartoonish. I can't, I, there's no scale around here, it's just build it, see how it comes out. People will get the idea. Put it next to Dad's. Fits on the back of Dad's good, so. Does it fit fit in the back of a U? Mm-hmm. Fits perfectly on the back of Dad's U. The one we're building the big this one off. So it'll be good to see that. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be good. <laughs> well, that's a wrap for the introduction video to uh, MRT Builds channel. Um, I hope you can uh, come along with me and enjoy some of the fab tips and um, ludicrous things that we'll get up to building in the shed. Uh, there's some cool projects coming, including the little boat. There's going to be revisions on the engine on that and some tips on what I do, what we machine, um, some silly little jobs like that, and including this build series on this car. I've actually... Um, I spent most of today after I'd, I'd done adulting things and cleaning the house and all the washing and all the other garbage you got to get done. Um, actually spent a lot of the time of the day um, filming and, and doing the exhaust. So the exhaust is actually pretty much finished now. So that'll be episode one. Um, some, there's some cool little videos and and uh, little things I've done there and, and fabbing that up, the little stainless exhaust for it. So it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, there's some 
there's some cool jobs coming up. I've got a couple of uh, real size boat fuel tanks to build for a proper size boat. Um, some Honda ATC stuff, some motor building tips, some crazy engines. Um, yeah, there's going to be there's going to be a lot of cool stuff. So um, I think that's a bit of a wrap for tonight. It's a little bit late. Um, bear with me with my editing skills. Go right on a welder. Don't go real good on a on a computer. But I'm sure as time goes on, I'll I'll get used to the editing side of things, and we might excite the channel a little bit more. So um, sweet. Um, yeah, if you'd like, subscribe, hit that little bell. And let's get it happening. See you for now.